How are you doing everyone? Badabing here. I thought I would chime in with some fairly old airsoft news that has surfaced over the last few months. The Svoboda Barrett M107 GBBR. Yeah, that's right. Gas blowback rifle. These rifles have gone into production again after so many years. These originally came out almost 10 years ago, and at the time they were known as, or produced, under SOCOM gear. I'm guessing SOCOM gear was there to wrangle in the Barrett license and handle the distribution, with Svoboda OEMing the original product. To my knowledge, there has only been two gas blowback Barretts to ever commercially exist. The Smokies Barrett being lost to the sands of time, and they must have been available within the 1990s, because as far as I can remember of the late 90s and early 2000s, they were extremely uncommon to find. And they weren't strictly a full gas blowback operation, but that's another story. So, the Svoboda M107 is coming back. Now this gas blowback Barrett 50 sounds like a good idea, right? Wrong. As amazing as that concept is, unfortunately, it's going to be a shell ejecting rifle. You can't keep getting away with it! And any dreams of having a practical gas blowback, caseless rifle that can menacingly pat an airsofter on the back from 200 meters away is lost. Like the version from 2014, the M107 shells store the CO2 and it uses the entire gas supply from each shell to run the action and propel the BB. Admittedly, the last Barrett looked very cool when it was going off, although it wasn't very long until people started reporting issues with jams, gas leaks, and even the ejector was known to rip off the back of the casing. Or within the first few cycles, those cartridge casings would get damaged really easily and create problems thereafter. Because of how utterly expensive the thing was, not a lot of people bought them, and following the negative feedback from those that did, saw to it to put off other interested parties. As we rotate over to 2024, Svoboda are returning with that new batch. They had a perfect opportunity to build something cool, and something that could have had a single shred of practicality in an otherwise impractical platform, but no. He can't keep getting away with it! As you can probably tell, this method of operation doesn't impress me in the slightest, and that's all thanks to a single 20-minute game round in the company of the Maruzen 870. That experience alone was enough for me to realise how shit shell ejecting is for the field. The novelty is erased as soon as this sound ends. Of course you can just tape a sock to the side of it to catch the shells, but then it all looks stupid. And even worse if you're using a barrette, with essentially Santa Claus's nutsack hanging off the side. So, this Gen 2 model, if it really does contain generational improvements, what are we likely to see? What we do know is that it'll be chambered in 6mm BBs instead of 8mm like the original, or so the websites that advertise the pre-orders claims. The previous Gen was 8mm only, so it's nice to have that commonality with ammunition. The M107 will come in a variety of barrel configurations and three different colours – black, tungsten grey and flat dark earth. As it's already up for pre-order, we know the price. It'll cost you $1,900 or pound sterling. 1900 quid, and for that you get a bare bones Barrett with no optic and apparently five shells. Just five shells for its 10 round box magazine. You would have to be totally bonkers to buy one of these things, so with that, I expect to have mine in January. Would I hell? I'll take my PSG 1 over this anytime. No thank you. The expensive rifle will no doubt lead to expensive shells and also expensive spare magazines. 
As interesting as the M107 would be to put onto the field, it all sounds like one giant headache to me, and with something as badass as a gas blowback 50, it really needs to be a straight up gas and mag gas blowback, much like that custom Lynx that someone made a while ago. Now imagine that operating system within a full steel barret, and a loadout containing a couple of extra magazines across your person. That image is definitely superior than the shell ejection in my opinion. I know I've been super negative about this rifle, but this is all coming out of pure frustration. I know a lot of my viewers will know exactly where I'm coming from, so I won't be alone. As a collector's piece though, the Svoboda M107 would be ideal, and it'll make a really impressive warhanger compared to those Snow Wolf Barretts that are fairly common. Are you going to be parting with your hard-earned money on the new M107? Frankly, I think 1900 quid would be better spent on hookers and blow, but that's just me. Thanks for tuning in to my subtle rant against shell ejectors. If you want to hear more airsoft news and my unfaltered commentary, let me know and subscribe to the channel. Lots of things on the horizon, and my schedule for 2024 is packed with gun porn and coffee. Lots and lots of coffee. I hope to see you then. Look after yourselves.